What Schmadke is currently doing in the transfer market for Liverpool has been revealed. Schmadke has had a busy summer following his surprise appointment earlier this year and will be crucial to the Reds' planned moves in the winter. Schmadke, the 59-year-old German sporting director, has reportedly been scouring the Bundesliga for suitable players. It is claimed that Schmadke has a big role in Daniel Malen being on Liverpool's list. Malen is currently doing very well at Dortmund. If anyone is scoring goals, it's usually him, is having his best season for Dortmund at the moment. Liverpool are also scouting heavily in the Bundesliga thanks to their sporting director George Schmadke. Although it has been claimed that Liverpool could consider Schmadke's role as soon as the summer is over, it seems that Schmadke still retains his place at Anfield. As a result, it would be a shock if someone else was brought in for the January window. Regardless, the mid-season market is usually a relatively quiet period for Liverpool. They always have the chance to make a move if the right opportunity arises, but it will be nothing like this summer. Still, Schmadke seems to be looking around to see if there is such an opportunity for the Reds. Malen is indeed having a good season, but there are other German players Liverpool have their eye on. Perhaps the most likely is a player like Piero Hinkapi. The Bayer Leverkusen stopper was heavily linked in the closing days of the summer and despite the emergence of Jarrell Kwanzaa, Liverpool are probably still looking for a defender. Other names, such as Manicone, have also been regularly claimed to be on the Reds list. However, while a move for Andre Trindade is expected, we are not sure about that. Let's wait and see what Jorg has at his disposal. Jurgen Klopp has written Darwin Nunez off. Liverpool defender Virgil van Dijk reacts after Darwin Nunez's miss of the season against Union St. Gilloise. Nunez had made an impressive start to the season for Liverpool prior to Thursday's 2-0 win over the Belgian outfit, with four goals and two assists in eight games. He made his second Europa League start of the season at Anfield after scoring in the 3-1 win over LASK in the first leg. But things didn't quite go to plan for the Uruguayan, who was substituted at halftime as manager Jurgen Klopp looked to keep his options fresh for Sunday's game against Brighton. Nunez failed to get on the score sheet and missed an easy chance to put the Reds 1-0 up at halftime. TV cameras showed the Liverpool bench reacting to the missed goal as manager Jurgen Klopp turned away in agony. Van Dijk, meanwhile, looked shocked by what he saw and turned to a teammate and patted his arm. It was not a moment Nunez will remember fondly but Liverpool went on to win 2-0 with goals from Ryan Gravenberch and Diogo Hotter. Gravenberch's goal was his first in a Liverpool shirt since completing his move from Bayern Munich last month. Speaking after the win, Klopp praised the Dutch midfielder's performance, adding, it's very difficult to keep the rhythm in games like this but it's very important. We should have scored earlier but we got the second goal in extra time. It was a mature and professional performance. We got the result we wanted but we know we can do better. Nunez's miss was much talked about by fans after the game and is still a popular topic. Liverpool paid one of the biggest transfer fees in their history to sign Nunez from Benfica last summer. However, his adaptation to English football has not been quick. He scored just nine Premier League goals in his first season. He has shown more promising form in the league this term with three goals in six games, but came under the spotlight for the wrong reasons on Thursday when he missed an empty net in the Europa League win over Union St. Gilloise. Assessing what went wrong at the time, Michael Owen said, it's either a lack of confidence, a lack of skill or a lack of concentration, but in theory in professional football most people should be able to finish it. Nothing he does surprises me, I mean he does great things and terrible things, there's a lot of holes in his game and I think he has the raw material to be a top player but he needs a lot of coaching and maybe a bit more experience. I think of someone like Didier Drogba, when he first came people laughed at him for the first year or two, his touch was everywhere and then suddenly he changed. I think this guy can be that kind of player, if he improves he can be an incredible player, but he needs to improve the obvious, easy parts of his game. Nunez is 24, so he still has time to improve, but Thursday's missed chance may have been more about sharpening his own striking instincts than coaching. Liverpool bought him after a 34-goal season at Benfica, which shows what he can do when things go right. Unfortunately, his performances so far have not cleared the question mark. Klopp feels he's given him enough chances and after last night's performance it's hard to see him being the first choice. From now on, 
Darwin Nunez will try to find a place in the team with the short chances he gets. What was Jurgen Klopp seen doing to Trent Alexander-Arnold after replacing him last night? Trent captained Liverpool in his first start since September 3rd. In a substitution that was almost certainly planned, the 24-year-old was taken off after less than an hour. According to the latest reports, there was a special reception waiting for Alexander-Arnold on the touchline. Having seen his vice-captain perform so well both on the ball and in defence, Klopp was seen giving Trent one of his famous bear hugs on his way off the pitch. Although he wasn't decisive last night and Joe Gomez was excellent in his absence, it's great to have the scouser back. Alexander-Arnold, who turns 25 tomorrow, is now one of the most senior members of the Liverpool squad. And last night was another milestone for the academy graduate. He led the Reds in European competition for the first time. In fact, it was a Europa League debut for Trent, who is no doubt used to the luxury of the Champions League. But if he didn't want to be there, he didn't show it. Alexander-Arnold, sharp as ever with the ball, almost put Mohamed Salah in a goal position several times in the early stages of the game. Defensively, he was also very good, making a notable last-man intervention to stop a very dangerous-looking counter-attack early in the second half. It will be interesting to see if Trent, who was firmly ruled out before the game, returns to the team sheet on Sunday. As a result, it would perhaps not be a surprise to see Gomez back at the Amex. Still, it would be great to have Alexander-Arnold back, whether in the starting 11 or on the bench. Jürgen clearly thinks so too. Ryan Gravenberch became the first player in 21 years to match the former Liverpool striker's achievement. The midfielder scored his first goal for the club since his summer transfer during Thursday night's 2-0 win over Union St. Gilloise. He provided two assists in his first two games against LASK and Leicester, becoming the first player to do so for the club since Jordan Ayub more than a decade ago. Gravenberch's goal against the Belgian side took him a step further and he became the first Liverpool player since Milan Boros in 2002 to score in each of his first three games. Boros was impressive at the start of the 2002-2003 season, scoring four goals in his first three appearances for the Reds. This included the opening goal against Bolton as well as goals against West Brom and Basel. The 21-year-old said it was a super good feeling to be playing at Anfield and cited regular minutes as the key to him settling in so quickly. Gravenberch left the Bundesliga champions this summer, unhappy with his lack of game time despite making just two league appearances for the club in the 2022-2023 season. The Dutchman has become a fixture in Jurgen Klopp's rotating midfield and has featured in the Europa League and League Cup so far this season. Although he is yet to make a Premier League appearance, Gravenberch seems to be enjoying life at Anfield and contributing goals will do him no harm in endearing himself to the fans.